Hello, travelers, and welcome to Adventures in Security. This is Tom Olzak, and I'll be your guide. In today's world, cell phones have become an integral part of doing business. We use them for communication, accessing cloud and data center resources, and even for financial transactions. However, with the increasing use of cell phones, security breaches and data theft risks have also increased. Therefore, securing our cell phones physically and with technology is essential. This video will discuss various, way, various ways to secure and manage the security of a business's cell phones. You can download the script for this video, formatted as a study guide, from a link in the video description. The first and foremost step towards securing a cell phone is physical security. In addition to training employees always to have their cell phones under their physical control, other safeguards should include using a screen lock. A screen lock is the most basic step toward physically securing your cell phone. Phones should be locked with a pattern, PIN, or password. This will prevent unauthorized access to your phone and your data. Using a privacy screen. For very sensitive data use, a privacy screen can prevent others from seeing your phone's screen. This is especially useful when you are typing passwords or other sensitive information and avoiding public and home Wi-Fi. Organizations should train their employees to avoid the use of public hotspots. Further, it's also important to limit access to home networks. Home networks, like public networks, should always be considered hostile. Technology safeguards are needed to support our efforts to get our users to act safely. Several of the following controls usually require a mobile device management solution to enforce, which I cover later in this video. First, keep your software updated. As with all devices, we need to keep the phone operating systems up to date. This ensures that the phones have the latest security patches. Using strong authentication and enabling remote erase. A passcode or biometrics access authentication method should be used to prevent unauthorized access. However, this isn't a perfect access control. In addition, organizations should enforce a policy that requires and enables remote erasing of any lost or stolen device. Install antivirus software. Cell phones are not completely resistant to malware. Although Android devices are considered more vulnerable, not being locked down like iPhones, even though organizations should control the applications allowed on business-issued mobile devices, users still will still visit non-business-related websites, receive text messages from the unknown, and engage in activities that increase infection risk. Use a virtual private network, or VPN. All mobile devices should have the capability to remotely access sensitive resources while using encryption. VPN provides access over encrypted sessions. This can be forced by requiring phones, for example, to use a VPN endpoint to access both cloud and data center resources. Use secure applications. Only approved applications should be stall installed on any business device, including cell phones. All other applications should be blocked. And use attribute-based access. Attribute-based access control enables an organization to control the use of each cloud or on-premise resource based on a set of attributes, including the device used. Other attributes include geographic location of the device, owner of the device, health of the device, something often checked by the mobile device management solution, sensitivity of the resource to be accessed, time of day, day of the week, and user role. Bluetooth technology has revolutionized the way we use our cell phones. It allows us to connect to various devices, such as headsets, speakers, and even cars, without the need for cables and wires. While this technology offers significant benefits, it also comes with vulnerabilities that can be exploited by cybercriminals. One of the biggest vulnerabilities of Bluetooth tech is its susceptibility to hacking. Bluetooth hackers can access a phone's data and even control your device remotely. This type of, of attack is known as bluejacking, 
blue snarfing or blue bugging. Bluejacking is when a hacker sends unsolicited messages to your Bluetooth enabled device, while blue snarfing is when a hacker gains unauthorized access to a device's data. Blue bugging is when a hacker takes control of a device, giving them access to the user's calls, messages, and other personal information. To minimize the risk associated with Bluetooth, there are several steps organizations can take. One of the most effective ways to protect cell phones is to ensure that Bluetooth is turned off when not in use. This reduces the chances of a hacker gaining access to your device. Additionally, users should be trained to avoid accepting unsolicited Bluetooth connections, especially from unknown sources. This can prevent bluejacking attacks. Another way to minimize the risks associated with Bluetooth is to ensure the devices are updated regularly. Many updates include security patches that address Bluetooth vulnerabilities that could be exploited by hackers. Furthermore, users should be trained to avoid using public Bluetooth connections, such as those found in airports, coffee shops, and other public places. These connections are often unsecured and can be easily exploited by hackers. When using Bluetooth, it's also essential to use strong passwords and passcodes. This can make it difficult for hackers to access your device if they do manage to gain access to your Bluetooth connection. Additionally, users should limit the amount of sensitive information sent over Bluetooth connections. As covered next, an organization can enforce these and other Bluetooth safeguards with a mobile device management solution. Mobile Device Management, or MDM, is a crucial tool for businesses to secure their cell phones and other mobile devices. With the ever-increasing use of mobile devices in the workplace, it's essential that businesses implement MDM solutions to protect their sensitive data and ensure compliance with security regulations. MDM is a set of technologies and processes used to manage and secure mobile devices, such as smartphones and tablets. It also allows businesses to remotely manage, monitor, and secure the mobile devices used by employees. MDM can be used to enforce security policies, manage updates, and remotely wipe data from a lost or stolen device. First, choose the right MDM solution. There are many MDM solutions available in the market. It's essential to choose the one that best fits the organization's needs. Factors to consider include the number of devices to be managed, the level of security needed, and the budget. Organizations should also consider whether the MDM solution integrates with existing systems and software. Second, enforce strong password policies. Passwords are the first line of defense against unauthorized access to mobile devices. MDM can be used to enforce password policies that require employees to create strong passwords and change them regularly. Password policies can also be configured to lock devices after a set amount of time of inactivity. Third, enable remote wipe. In the event that a device is lost or stolen, MDM can be used to remotely wipe all data from the device. This ensures that sensitive information does not fall into the wrong hands. Organizations can also use MDM to wipe data from devices that are no longer in use or have been retired. Fourth, use device encryption. MDM can be used to enforce device encryption. Encryption ensures that data stored on the device is secure and cannot be accessed by unauthorized users. If a device is lost or stolen, Encryption helps ensure that the data cannot be accessed without the encryption key. Fifth, manage application installation. MDM can be used to manage application installation on mobile devices. This ensures that only approved apps are installed on the device, reducing the risk of malware and other security threats. MDM can also be used to remove apps that are no longer needed or pose a security risk. Sixth, monitor device usage. MDM can be used to monitor device usage, including tracking device location, network usage, and app use. This information can be used to identify potential security threats and take appropriate action.
And finally, Bluetooth use management. One of the primary benefits of MDM is that it enables businesses and organizations to control and monitor Bluetooth settings on their mobile devices. This feature is particularly useful for ensuring that employees only pair their devices with authorized Bluetooth devices, thereby reducing the risk of data theft or unauthorized access to critical systems. In addition to this, MDM can also enable administrators to enforce policies that restrict the use of Bluetooth on certain devices or within specific areas. This can be particularly useful in environments where Bluetooth signals may interfere with other wireless technologies or pose a security risk. That's it for this video. If you have questions, please ask. And if this information was helpful, please subscribe. And until next time, be careful what you click.